Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're delving into the mysterious and provocative world of Pablo Picasso's Les Demoiselles de Vignon. Buckle up for a ride through time and artistry. Welcome to the scandalous Cara di Avigno, the setting of Picasso's controversial masterpiece. Let's unravel the layers of this artistic rebellion. Les Demoiselles de Vignon was originally titled The Brothel of Avignon. What's the story behind these young ladies? Picasso confronts us with five nude female figures, boldly challenging conventional femininity. The setting, a Barcelona brothel, becomes a canvas for rebellion. Picasso's unconventional depiction is mesmerizing. What inspired those disjointed and angular body shapes? Picasso introduces primitivism through these figures. The far-left figure with Egyptian flair, the Iberian influences, and the African mask-like features. They all signify Picasso's exploration of ethnic primitivism. He aimed to unleash a new artistic force, a savage beauty challenging the status quo. Picasso infused a shamanistic aspect into his project. What sparked this mystical dimension? Picasso spoke of liberating a compelling, savage force. The masks, evoking ethnic primitivism, acted as catalysts. Picasso sought a liberation of his artistic style, adding a shamanistic dimension. A journey into uncharted territories of expression. Picasso, fueled by the audacity of Les Demoiselles de Vignon, began deconstructing reality itself. Geometric shapes replaced traditional forms, and multiple viewpoints converged in a dance of transformation. Cubism was born. Picasso's Les Demoiselles de Vignon isn't just a painting. It's a rebellious manifesto, a fusion of primitivism and artistic liberation. Join us next time as we uncover more artistic mysteries. Until then, keep exploring the depths of art and imagination.